What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Horror Hangout. Uh, broadcasting this one live on a couple of Facebook things. So, shop 31 people. What's up? How you doing? Um, I'll be uploading this to YouTube in the morning. I just wanted to get it on as many platforms as possible. There's no point in not doing that if it's available, right? You know what I'm saying? So, let's just keep keep on keeping on and see if we can get this thing to, to do something special. So, this is my March 2022 horror collection horror movie collection whatever update video we got vhs 4k boutique uh everything man we got some good stuff this month and i got a special gift from a friend so i have that i'll show you that into the video let's just jump right in first things first uh i got a couple of bootlegs that my buddy made me let me show you those let me find the other two real quick hold on i like to be very very clear about stuff that is not real so as not to upset anybody or you know come off like doing something that i'm not doing these are not for sale or trade these are for me to keep so first first one's first first excuse me uh i got one called fair game it's an oz playstation flick from australia we couldn't find it anywhere man as a matter of fact chris had to make the cover this is actually like all like glued together not physically but like you know on on a, on a template that he made but uh osploitation you know crazy stuff man i haven't seen it yet so i'm, I'm excited to watch that one he got me a copy of munchies <clears throat> which dude come on bro let's go <laughs> that's a screen boot too <laughs> and then we got uh cemetery man an italian just insane movie that we're doing a shopcast this week so you'll see more about cemetery man and so those are those are three let's be very clear bootlegs all right this is all the stuff that i bought I have I do not feel guilty about having a couple of expensive out of print movies printed up for me because of, look what I'm buying man look at the amount of stuff that I buy every month is kind of stupid uh oh my goodness there's so much of it all right let's just start going I'll do my I always do VHS stuff last so hang tight if you're a VHS fan I picked up uh Cannibal Apocalypse on uh this was from is this Kino yeah, this is Kino. I got some uh, Kino Lorber stuff this month. They had a sale going. Um, hey! Yes. Yeah, I'm on Twitch. I wanted to go live on Facebook and Twitch, and then I'll drop this on YouTube in the morning on my Horror Hangout channel. Uh, I'm just trying some different things. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens, see what works, see what people enjoy the most. That's that's what I'll end up doing you know, permanently. I picked up... Uh, that's going to have to come second to last, I guess. I finally got a copy of Nightmare Alley. Got it on 4K. I'm very excited to own this. My wife hasn't seen it yet. I love that movie a lot. We got Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. And I got A Girl work, blah, 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 a girl Walks Home Alone at Night. Uh, these are also Kino Lorber titles that I got on their sale. Actually, Butcher Baker is a code red. But um, whatever, man. I love this stuff. Look at the... Dude, Butcher Baker, I haven't watched yet either. We got... I finally got They Live on uh, 4K as well. I had 4K special editions, but I got offered more money than they were worth to me to sell them, so I did, so I finally picked it back up. Got to have the Carpenter stuff. Uh, Scream Factory, I believe, did a 4K of Alligator. Picked that up this month. Can't ha can't not have that. Uh, Shout Select has... Uh... Dude, Nightmare Alley is a fantastic movie. I finally got a copy of Suburbia, punk rock movie. Arrow video. I got uh, the bird with the bird with the crystal plumage movie. I've only watched once. I got a 4K of it. I'll check it out again. Love you some Giallo. I picked up Versus on uh, Blu-ray. I had a DVD of it, but nice Blu-ray with a slip cover. Can't go wrong with that. Um, Horror Pack sent me Freak. I haven't watched this yet, but dude, I got so much stuff to watch. I got a I got a literal mountain of movies that are that are you know on my watch list. Crucible of Horror. This is on the short list, actually. I need to put this over here. Crucible of Horror is going to be on the short list. And then One-Eyed Girl. Those are my three that it came from uh, Horror Pack. I also got VFW, but I already owned it, so I took it to the store. Your Vice is a locked room, and only I have the key. That's a Jallo film with a ridiculous name. 
uh, Arrow Video does a lot of good Jello stuff. What have they done to your daughters? Arrow Video did had a great sale this month. We picked up a bunch of stuff. Me and my buddies, Josh and Chris from Shopcast, if anybody's familiar. Um, I got De ah! Deadly Games in a slipcase from Arrow Video. I got Deep Red 4K from Arrow Video. Uh, the Snake Girl and the Silver Haired Witch, one that I have not watched yet. Looking forward to this Jello. Beautiful slipcover. Arrow Video comes with the heat, bro. Uh, man, I, I buy way too much stuff. <laughs> Finally got Basket Case. Thought I owned this. I didn't. So that has been remedied. Oh, and I got Zombie for Sale. Again, haven't watched this one yet either. Gonna real soon. Dude, I, I got lots of movie reviews coming. Oh, Jake, this isn't even done yet, bro. Bro, it's like I'm, I'm only, yeah, halfway done. Check this shit out. We got okay. Let's see here. How do I do this? I got uh the ungovernable, ungovern governorable good grief force. Another old punk rock movie. It's on DVD though. An American Werewolf in London, uh 4K box set pre-ordered from Arrow came in finally. I did a, a unboxing video for that, so you can watch that on the channel if that's something you're interested in. Um, I got Don't Torture a Duckling. I also picked up a copy of Toxic Avenger on Blu-ray. This is pretty, uh, it's hard to find in the wild. I mean, you can find anything online, but if you're out looking at, looking for stuff, good luck finding that one. All right. I found a copy of uh, a John Woo two-pack on VHS, The Killer, and Hard Boiled, unopened. Dude, Hard Boiled is amazing. I haven't watched The Killer, I don't think. But, dude, come on. How could you not get that? Um, I got a copy of Honeymoon in Vegas on VHS. You know me, uh, my Nick Cage movies. I got a copy of a movie called The Locals. It's also known as Bad Trip. I wrote a little note and put it in there. Uh, it's not available to stream or rent at the moment anywhere, so we'll have to get this one watched pretty soon. Uh, yeah, dude, Toxic Avenger. Chris really likes that one, so Trauma's my jam. That's not my favorite Trauma movie, but I am a completist. Uh, dude, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Stack up! I got The Hills Have Eyes because I sold my copy to a buddy on Arrow Video. And then I got, okay, we're almost done. Here's five of the coolest things I got this month. And then I'll have, and then I have one more thing to show you guys and I'll let y'all go. We're making this quick this month, ain't we? I got Scream on VHS unopened. To my surprise, it is actually, it's the blue variant, which I knew was a little more rare, but I didn't realize when I, gra when I grabbed it. That this is the one with Courtney Cox on the cover, not Nev Campbell. It's a little more rare. I don't know what it's worth. I think it's worth about 70 bucks. I could be wrong. Uh, not that it matters because it's my personal copy. I'm keeping it. Um, but it is cool that I was able to get something a little more desirable. I don't know. I'm a dork. I love this stuff. Um, I was able to get Slumber Party, Slumber Party Massacre. 2021 version the, the 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 new movie on vhs through witter entertainment broke horror fan this thing is awesome brand new vhs tapes for people to watch i collect specifically those they go on the shelf up here man i cannot wait to get this camera thing remedied tomorrow i'll be using my gopro so to see how that works and then we got the new camera coming in on wednesday so and then okay i found alien box set on VHS unopened, but the, the real treat is, is that it's the one with the photos on the side, quite a bit more desirable. And it's got the, the Fox watermark on it. So this is something you want to keep. You want to keep this uh, closed. This is, this is pretty expensive. Um, my buddy Hugh might be buying this. So if anybody's interested, speak up, but it is sale pending at the moment. So I get a lot of questions about alien stuff every time this, it don't matter. This is going to be gone in a week. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't care. And then two things that are also for sale. So if you're interested in these, I don't watch this stuff or keep it. I just, I just saw an opportunity to uh, pick this stuff up. So I did bro. The alien sets fire, isn't it? It's awesome, dude. I got a movie called snuff. Try finding this somewhere online. And if you do find it, please let me know where you can get it at and how much is it worth? How much like so I can price it? Because as far as I can tell, this thing is like 70 bucks, dude. 
70 bucks, bro. And then I found a classic. So I got a copy of, I can't tell if this is five or four, six or four. Is the VI six? Is that six? Dude, on VHS. Bro, are you kidding me? That's the OG stuff that made you squirm when you were a kid, bro. That's that 90s OG horror right there. And so that's all the movies that I got. I got one more thing that was given to me. It was a gift. So I am pretty sure that at some point in the fall, I'm going to get to have the director of Terrifier named Damien Leone. Damien Leone, sorry. Um, I, I think it's Leone. I, I, I hope I'm not messing this man's name up. Uh, on the show. And... My friend talked to him on my behalf, which was awesome. And he got me a gift for hitting a thousand subscribers on Horror Hangout and turning 40. You know, it all kind of coincided with each other. Sold by Damon Leone at his table, made by him. Terrifier branded. Okay. Look at this shirt. Are you kidding me? Oh man, it's not gonna get. I'll have to post a a picture or something because it's the camera is just garbage right now. But look at this. And then it's signed by Damien for me. I'm gonna wear it once on the channel, make a video. Then I got to maybe frame it or something. This thing is too cool, man. So, Craig, if you see this, dude, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. So, bro, that's what I'm saying, dude. This is a hard, God damn it. This is a really hard movie to get a hold of. It's wild, isn't it? Yeah, dude. That shirt is so fire. My boy Craig got it for me. Um, we got to hang out at the shop the other day and talk for a little while. It was pretty awesome. That's my dog, though. He's been around since my old shop. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty nice haul this month. Um, let's see. My favorite couple of things would have to be definitely the Scream VHS. Let's see. So I'm going to say my top three picks for the month would be the Scream VHS. Obviously, I mean, come on. And then let's see here. I, there was a couple things that stuck out to me. I'm going to go with, no, I don't want to do that one. Man, I got a lot of good stuff this week. Oh, no. The upgraded copy of A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. That'll be number two. And number three would have to be. Let's see. Yeah, probably the Alligators 4K. That's my top three this month. Wham! So, yeah. Let me know what you guys are picking up. What are y'all buying every month? Uh, yeah, Aliens thing is pretty sweet. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's awesome, dude. If y'all like these videos, man, keep keep coming back. We do this stuff every month. I do this every month. I do Horror Pack every month. I do a weekly show on Tuesdays at about lunchtime. We got a lot of stuff that's like very much scheduled every month. So you'll be able to see when we drop these videos. But I drop content most days during the week. I don't do stuff on the weekends if I can avoid it because I got a lot of kids to hang out with. And, uh, you know. Bro, I'm telling you, it is not what you think it is. It's kind of a slow-paced movie, but it's well-paced. Um, it's a vampire Western. It's black and white with great music. It's, it's awesome. But, uh, thank you everybody for hanging out with us for a little while. I'm going to get back to work. I got to edit stuff and I've got other videos to make. So thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. I'll see y'all later. Peace.